lucky. I'm very lucky. I'm uh, one of the co-creators, but I got to go for a free ride on this one. Bill Lawrence and Brett Goldstein came up with an amazing idea, and they came to me early, and they allowed me to help develop it with them, but this is really their idea, and I got very lucky. You're going to watch somebody try to pull themselves out of grief by forming a, a family from the people around him, which is really what we all do. We all have a found family, and that really is what the show is about. It's the only way we're going to get through grief is through laughter and with each other. I think there is a real wish fulfillment element to this show in general of um, we wish someone would just tell us what to do. Gosh, I'm so good with instructions. Just do this. And so uh, it turns out there are ethical reasons you don't do that and we find them out in the show. They sent him the script. I think he wanted to do comedy because I think Harrison is one of the funniest people around. He's just never gotten the chance to show it. And so it was an opportunity for him to do something he hadn't done. And I think we all want that. Like we all have parts of ourselves that are unseen that we feel like we'd like people to know. It's a show about grief. I've heard it put as a grief calm. I think Jessica said that, I'm not sure. But uh, it's definitely about pulling yourself up out of the valley, but um, not by yourself. He has name Sean, he's a vet. He suffers from PTSD, he's got anger issues, and he gets assigned court-ordered anger management. And that's when he gets stuck with Jimmy, Jason's character, and they gotta figure out how to how to get better together. So what it's like working with Harrison is, you know, you probably heard this, you know, it's very, very regal, very poised, and all that's true, but on top of all that, he's very warm, and he's funny. He's funny for free when they're not paying him, when it's not between action and cut, he's making you laugh. He's a, he's, a, he's a hoot and a holler and riot. He's a good dude. Jimmy's daughter. She is the only one on the show that has her shit together. Uh, the um, adults in her life are kind of running around and their lives are falling apart and she's just trying to find her way through grief and uh, trying to find her relationship with her dad again. She's just got that teen angst. She's teen angsty. She's grown up in Pasadena and uh, I think that uh, she's distanced from Jimmy right now. So. She's not going to let him close to her until he starts showing her that he can be a good and present father. <laughs> Working with Harrison is absolutely incredible. It's sublime. I mean, he's a legend for a reason. I think that the presence and the energy that he brought to every scene, every single day was really inspiring and I learned so much from him. Uh, I play Gabby on Shrinking and Gabby is a therapist that works with uh, Paul and Jimmy, which is played by uh, Harrison Ford and Jason Siegel, and we all work at this practice. And uh, Gabby is someone who likes to keep it light and bright on the outside, but she has things she's working on in the inside while trying to be a good friend and going through kind of issues of her own. We all knew kind of quickly that this was something special, and I think Gabby is a really nice bright moment between you know Harrison's character who's a bit more surly and Jimmy's who's really going through a lot. It's a bit sadder, so they all balance each other really well, and I think they all have a really good dynamic. It's great working with Harrison. He's a really giving actor. He really cares about the work, and he's very funny and cheeky. And um, it was a dream come true. I've known about him for a really long time, you know, and it's just it was an honor to work with him. It was crazy. It's very well written and very well conceived and that's really what attracted me to the project. I liked the writing, I thought it was funny and, and touching. Jason's very, uh, very hardworking, very clear, straightforward. 